Welcome back to another Q&A series here at the Driving for Dollars Mastery channel. This is where you ask and I answer. If you want to see more videos like this, go to my homepage on my YouTube channel and click on playlist so you can see all the Q&As. If you guys like this, leave me a like, subscribe. Also, make sure you leave me a comment or a question so I can answer them in the next video just for you. Hey everybody, uh, today's question, I love this question. Um, I actually kind of get this one quite a bit. Uh, so I got this question from Jayski Chandler. Uh, forgive me if I put your name, brother. Uh, but he said, how much is the assignment fee supposed to be? So if you're new to real estate investing, more specifically real estate wholesaling, um, I need to explain what an assignment fee is. So uh, as a real estate wholesaler, your job is to go out and find off market discounted properties, right? So, so you got to find a seller that basically wants a pawn shop for their house. They're willing to sell it at a massive discount. That might be like a tired landlord that doesn't want to deal with their property. Maybe someone inherited property, they have crappy siblings. They don't want to deal with it. Um, they don't want to list it with an agent. They don't care if they squeeze every penny out. They just want to be done with it, right? So you're finding those kinds of people. And once you put it under contract, you don't have to close on this. You don't have to have a bunch of money to get into this. All you have to have is money to, to find the deal. And then once you get the deal, you can sell the opportunity before you close on the house. You just sell the contract. You assign the contract to a different investor or buy and hold investor or a flipper. They pay cash for the deal and you get paid an assignment fee. So like my bigger assignment fees are in the $80,000 range. Um, I have students that have done six figure wholesale deals. I could have wholesaled one this, this month for 150,000 by far would have been my biggest assignment fee, but we decided to fix it up and flip it and make close to $300,000 our cut. So, um, anyways, uh, you know, that's real estate wholesaling. So the question here is, um, you know, how much should my assignment fee? So when I do these deals, like how much should I be making? Well, your assignment fee will be different depending on the market where you're doing deals. If you live in California or if you live in like Ohio, your average deal size is going to be different. So the, the best way to calculate your average assignment fee, if you go to Google and just Google median house price and then the city where you're wanting to do wholesale, you're going to find out what the median house price is, which is the average house price. Your average, uh, um, assignment fee, what you should shoot for your goal should be 10% of the median house price. So if your median house price is $400,000 in your market, you should try and shoot for a $40,000 average assignment fee. So what that means is you're going to have some deals that are much lower than 40,000. You're going to have some deals that are much higher than 40,000. What will really establish and determine your wholesale fee is a, is a about three or four things. But what's most important is when you go out and meet with these sellers, you figure out what they're trying to do, how much they really need, what they're going to do with the money and try and get it for as low as you can and still fit the needs of the seller, right? So some of them, you can get more out of the deal or you can get less out of the deal, but your goal should be 10% of the median house price. Um, there's other things that will change, like your, your ability to negotiate, your ability to communicate with your sellers, uh, how many cash buyers you have on your buyers list when you go to sell the deal. Are you going to get as much as possible because you have enough cash buyers? You know, what's your disposition process? Do you have a good process to sell that deal? Do you get enough eyeballs on the opportunity to where you're going to get as much as possible? So there's, there's a handful of things, you know, how good is your marketing channel? Are you doing a marketing strategy that doesn't have competition? Are you competing with other investors on the deal? But there's, there's all those different things. Um, but if you're doing things right, you should be shooting for a 10%. Anyways, I hope that helps answer the question. Uh, make sure you hit the like button. And if you have any more questions, I want to help you. I want to answer your questions. So leave it in the comments below and I'd be happy to answer it in the next video. Thank you. See ya.